Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Isaac Chamberlain here for the press conference for Isaac Chamberlain versus Mikhail Lowell. Now, we thought a couple of days ago we'd be seeing Mr. Bouatsi and Mr. Dan Aziz here. What a week it's been. How's it been for yourself? Yeah, it's been good, man. Uh, what, what am I saying? It's not been good. It's been, it's been good now, but last probably 48 hours is a bit like, oh, God, what's happening? Like, you know, but God always has a plan. Uh, I'm very grateful for this opportunity as I'm even grateful for even getting up, getting out of bed, you know, grateful to fight on these shows, grateful to headline, to be on Sky Sports, so everything is a blessing, so I have to take my opportunities with both hands. When you first heard the news that the main event was off, did you think the worst? Did you think that it's happened again, we're not seeing this fight? Listen, I was driving, I saw the notification, I thought it was them facing off at the top of the O2 because that was going to happen. I had to pull over, bro. I said, yo, 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 yo. I was like, oh my God, my head. What is going on here, bro? And then I had to, I had to make the phone calls. And then like, they were like, don't worry, you're still on. We're working on it, but you're still on. I was like, oh. And then obviously, it, it was kind of like, oh man, what's this again? Like, but, you know, God always has, has a plan. And um, I'm very grateful that everything works out for me in a, in a bit of a better way. So I'm grateful for the opportunity and I can't wait to take the, take the show Saturday night talk about opportunity obviously it's been switched to York Hall a very late notice it's going to be a, a different atmosphere than it was inside the O2 Big Ram. it's going to be a literal dungeon so uh, it's going to be good man and uh, I fought at York Hall six times I won six times it's going to be the seventh time with a knockout you see that as a little bit of a home venue then uh, possibly possibly you know uh, it's always it's a home of British boxing it's something that's special and um, it's, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be so good. Talk to me about Mikhail Lawal and the relationship, I guess, that you guys have. You're very different characters on camera and off camera as well. He's obviously not chosen not to attend some of the media events, as you alluded to in the press conference. Why do you think that is and what effect does it have? I don't know. That's, that's weird. Like That media event, I wasn't going to turn up to it, but they said it's for, you know, to the incident where the woman got stabbed. And, you know what? I'll pull up for the community. I'll come for the community. You know, it's, this is bigger than myself. But for him to still not be able to turn up, I thought I was a bit mad. Yeah, how much does that really affect things? Because you want this to be as big a fight as possible. Yeah, but it wasn't even about that. It was about the community event to, to get all the young kids that are maybe looking to go down a different route. And they want, or they want to get out of gangs and stuff to at least inspire them. Like, look, listen, I came from Brixton, the hood, and I, 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 I got to this stage. You can do it as well, even just to inspire them. Or well, you're not trying to do that. You're just trying to be on a selfish thing. I don't know, because I do this for more than myself. Do you know what I mean? So that's what it is, man. What do you believe Mikel Lowell brings to this fight? What do you think are maybe his strengths and his weaknesses that you can expose? Yeah, he's very powerful. He's very powerful. You know, I have to be very, I have to be very on point. I can't get, can't get caught slipping. I have to be very on point. But we're gonna see what happens. You know. We're see. And you talked about Ben Shalom and the differences maybe that him and Mikhail Lawal have had. You've obviously been talking to Ben. You've been with with Sky Sports a little while now. How much does that affect things going into this? It don't affect nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it don't affect nothing. It's just well, at the end of the day, we're gonna fight. We're, um, getting paid well. well. I'm getting paid well. I don't know about him, but it's gonna be a, an amazing spectacle. I'm gonna pick up the British and come off titles. So I have to thank Ben for even putting this on the line. You know, so I'm grateful. Do you believe you're getting paid a lot more than him? Yeah, I am. I know I am. What does he think to that? What does he say up on stage? We couldn't quite hear it. I didn't, I didn't even hear what he said. I didn't know. I have to check it back. <laughs> You talked about the ring walks up there as well. So, are you walking first or second? Can you confirm? We're going to find out on Sky. We're going to find out. So, tune in Saturday night to see if I walk first or second. I want to talk a little bit about the division as a whole. I think lots would say the strongest division in the UK at the moment, maybe even the world. What, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, 100%. The UK division is thriving. Massive, massive, massive fights. All of them are basically on Sky. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be big. Big, 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 big division to be in. And it presents opportunities beyond this as well. We've got champions 
in this country. Obviously, Chris Billum Smith, Lawrence Acoli's been there before, Richie Riakpour's on fringe world level as well. You win this fight, there's some big doors that open. Big doors, yeah, definitely. Get a world title of my own, and we can do that. Chris Billum Smith unification fight live on Sky Sports box office in Bournemouth Stadium or another stadium. It will be big. That's the plan. Do you believe that's achievable in the next 12 months? One million percent in the summer. In the summer, I could fight Gulamarian or Badu Jack or the or I think now he vacated or the vacant WBC, then do a unification fight. Amazing. I'll leave the final word with you, Isaac. What's going to happen on Saturday night? Win, win, and look sensational. It might even be a stoppage. Good man. Cheers for your time, Isaac. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. Appreciate your time as well.